All right, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Atherin Ready to Roll 50 foot double plug door box car. This specific model is in the Wisconsin and Southern Sargento paint scheme. Retail on this model is $28.98, but I picked mine up for $23.18. You can also find them for less depending on the paint scheme that they are in. Some of the paint schemes that this car came in are worth significantly more because of the rarity of the paint scheme. So a little bit of history on this boxcar. This boxcar, number 503194, was originally delivered to the Wisconsin and Southern in their boxcar red standard paint scheme. And then sometime in between September and October 2007, it was painted into this paint scheme, the Sargento cheese paint scheme. And then at some point in 2009, all of the Sargento markings were removed and it now looks like this. While I was doing research for this review, I realized that the paint on this model isn't exactly accurate. On the roof and the ends of the car, it is a silver paint, but as you can see in this prototype picture, it's more of a gray color. For instance, on this patched out version, you can see that it's more of the gray color instead of the silver. This would be the correct color for this car. Other than that one paint issue, I couldn't really notice anything else that was wrong with the car. It's the correct prototype and all of the other paint looks fine. So let's get into the details. On each end of the car, there is a separately applied plastic ladder, as well as on the ends of the car there is as well. And then there's also a drop step right here. All along the side of the car, there are reflective stripes on the bottom, which is a nice touch. All of the painting on this model is extremely well done, as we all know that Atherton does. All of the separation lines are very well done, and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of paint bleed. Moving on to the doors, all of this detail is molded in, none of it is separately applied. You can also see all of this rivet detail across the doors. All of this door latch design is very well done and it looks pretty good even though it is molded in. On the B end of the car, you can see the separately applied brake wheel with the brake chain going down from it. There are also the separately applied plastic ladders with a grab iron that goes across the top. Here you can see the coupler. Usually these are gonna be the Atherin couplers, but I personally prefer these KD number five couplers and I use them on all of my rolling stock. On the underside of the car, you can see that there are separately applied brake pieces, but there is no piping in between them because this is an RTR model. You can also see that the trucks are screw mounted, which is very nice compared to some other designs. This is one thing that I really do not like about this car, and that's the coupler pocket design. There's no screw on the bottom of it, and the reason for that is the under frame, this part here, is all one casting. So to be able to access the coupler, you have to take both trucks off and take the entire underframe off of the car. Why it's made this way, I have no idea. It kind of would make sense that it would make the coupler more secure, but it doesn't because the trip pins will occasionally catch on things. And just because of how it's designed, the entire coupler will occasionally pop out of its socket because it can just bend down. Like I can just take the coupler out without having to unscrew anything. So obviously I'm not a very big fan of this design and I'm not entirely sure why Atherin did it, but one way that you could fix it is by putting a drop of glue on each side of this coupler pocket and just getting it super tightly closed because it's really not gonna stay the way it is from the factory. As you can see, these cars look very, very good. All of the painting on them is exceptionally well done, and I was very impressed with some of the details. I like a lot of the details on these models, and I do prefer that they're a little bit lighter on the detail, because then I don't have to worry about breaking any of the more fine details. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with these cars, and other than the coupler box design, they are gonna be super reliable cars for a long time.
so I'll leave links in the description to where you can buy these cars. Thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, share this video around, and I'll see you in the next video.